Hello, my name is Brian Stevenson, and I am your host for the Cyber Chronicles. This week, we have a great episode. We have, in the spirit of October for Halloween, we have Ghost NSS article. We talk about Facebook not once, but twice. Ten of most important updates you need to know about the hack, potential fine they're going to have, and probably the most interesting article that we have in the top five this week is about Chinese spy chips now being found on hardware used by Apple and Amazon, which they're vehemently denying. Let's get started. Okay, our fifth most popular article of the week comes to us from our friends from the Hacker News. And it's kind of apropos. It's a DNS uh, hack called Ghost DNS. What they do is they look for routers and wireless switches with people with weak passwords or no passwords at all, and then particularly look for you to when you log into your banks. Um, they had about 100,000 targets that they were managed to take control of their wireless devices and get access to banks, records, and everything else. Currently, the main focus is on Brazil as a country, but uh, they have over 100,000 router IP addresses that have been compromised. Typical um, router compromises are pretty easy to do, especially if you don't update your firmware. Firmware updates and security on routers come out a lot, and most people don't take the time to um, to make sure that the router has been updated. So make sure that you do that as listeners of the Cyber Chronicle because we want to keep you safe. Well, let's go on to the next article. Okay, our fourth most shared article of the week comes again to from the Hacker News. Boy, they just keep on pushing out great content. This one is the top 10 most important updates you need to know about Facebook hack. And we have two articles on Facebook this week. This one, we're going to have a link. I definitely recommend that you download it and read it. It gives you the top 10 most important updates you need to go through or know about the uh, about the hack. I'm going to go through them real quick. Uh, Facebook detected the breach at, after noticing unusual activity. Hackers exploited three Facebook vulnerabilities. One is when people wish people a happy birthday. See, sister, it's not bad that I'm on not on Facebook all the time. Ha! Uh, hackers stole a secret access for tokens over 50 million accounts. That's a lot of accounts. The uh, password compromised has been compromised, but the good news is it didn't reveal your account passwords. The bad news is that's not required. Private information using Facebook's API. It's not clear on how that's going to be used. A lot of people will be use, you know, log in as Facebook accounts on third-party websites. Most likely, if you've been hacked, those have been compromised. You need to change. And Facebook reset over 90 million accounts as a precautionary uh, step to make sure that everybody's been protected. Um, the bad news is they've been hacked. Um, there'll probably be a class action suit that's going to come out of this like they always do. Um, but that was the big news, and of course it's uh, lingering from last week. 50 million Facebook accounts were hacked or compromised. Let's move on to our next article. Okay, our third most popular article of the week comes from us from uh, Mr. Krebs. Another great expo, this time on voice phishing attack scams are getting more clever. What's this is uh, what he's talking about here is people are making the calls. There are shareware and open source codes out there to spoof a phone number. So you call, it looks like a phone number that you would uh, pop up in maybe your phone directory. In this case, it's using they're using banks phone numbers is spoofing and they're calling into people saying hey your credit card's been compromised we're going to need to reset it and they're asking information which people are providing which of course the bank would already have so you do need to provide that information but people are doing it anyway so that should be a red flag if you ever get a call from Wells Fargo or any of the banks they're not going to ask for your your pin number they're not going to ask for the three digit code in the back of your your credit card they're going to have that information mother's maiden name by the way is another one that they ask a lot of um, if you're using that as your catchphrase or your security phrase for God's sakes um, don't use your real mother's maiden name it's just so easy to find that information from ancestry or other um, Google searches make sure that you make a name up um, for mother's maiden name that can't be readily uh, determined just by uh, doing a Google search on yourself. And again, people are using these as, as calls are coming in. They look like they're from banks, but they're not from banks. So be wary out there. That was our third most popular article of the week. We're going to move on to number two. Okay, the second most popular article of the week, and in my opinion, the most important article of the week, but uh, this was the second most shared, comes up from Bloomberg, but the most shared article comes from CNBC, so that's one that we're talking about here. Bloomberg's claiming that Chinese spy chips have been found in hardware used by Apple and Amazon, specifically AWS. Apple's vehemently denying that that's the case, 
but it looks like the U.S. government investigations starting back in 2015 were used to gather intellectual property and trade secrets from American companies that were introduced by a company called Super Micro, a Silicon Valley parts manufacturer for China. Um, their stock plummeted 40%. They were embedding apparently something about the size of a piece of rice on the uh, motherboard of these systems being shipped out to various companies used by Apple and Amazon and to be able to listen in and pry source code and information on anything that's been used there. Investigation is um, underway. Uh, the stock plummeted, like we said, and uh, if this is true, this is probably one of the largest intellectual property thefts that we've ever seen by another government attacking another country. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this hits the, uh, the national news. Uh, instead of talking about other crazy crap, this is a very important thing. This is what we've been talking about a lot on the Cyber Chronicles. We're in a cyber war, and people need to wake up to that fact. And here's another uh, glaring evidence that uh, something may have happened that's really bad. So uh, we'll share that link, and do take your time to read that article. Okay, next up is a word from our sponsor, Fortinet and Focus Point Technologies. We'd like to thank both of them for sponsoring the Cyber Chronicles. We appreciate it. Please take the time to listen to the commercial. It's only 30 seconds, for God's sakes. You can spend that time. Click on the links, buy stuff from Focus Point, keep this uh, podcast going, and here it is. Focus Point Technologies is a woman-owned cybersecurity solutions provider. We are headquartered in Minnesota, and we have a unique approach. Our Security Technology Optimization Program, or STOP as we like to call it, takes a look at unused and overlapping functionality in the tool sets that you already own with the goal of lessening the number of vendors in your environment and saving your organization money. Give us a call at 651-330-5521. Okay, our number one most popular shared article of the week is, guess what, Facebook. Every week, one to five things in the Facebook of the top five articles. They have a potential $1.6 billion fine over their GDPR privacy violations that the, uh, with the hack occurred. Um, I'm not even going to go into it because I'm sick of shit talking about Facebook and all the lack of security that they have. Something's got to change in that company. Um, it's almost like like I think we talked about last week in our in our contest that it's they're they're not a social media company. They're a surveillance company used by various governments to determine everything they possibly can about anybody that uses their format. And let's see if this actually this video makes it on Facebook. So with that, this episode is ending. We hope you have a terrific week. Week. It's October. The kids are back in school, and uh, it's getting a little cooler out there. And uh, we really appreciate everybody who subscribes to the Cyber Chronicle. Please, if you haven't, click the little button to subscribe, and hopefully we'll hear from you.